out on the water is a huge part of the 30A lifestyle, and it's more than just that beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Whether you're relaxing in a nice spot like here at Sunset Pond and Nature Walk, hopping on a paddleboard in a coastal dune lake, or heading out on the bay to snag that trophy fish, the possibilities are almost endless. I'm Brooke Steller, and in this episode, we're going to show you some of our favorite spots to hit the water. The calm gulf waters are great for beginning surfers. More experienced ones wait for the rough days to catch the perfect wave, skipping out of the office early to hit their favorite spots where the break is just right. For the less adventurous, the gulf is perfect for wading in for a swim. The water is warm enough for most swimmers from April all the way through October. Deep sea fishing is another popular water activity. On Grayton Beach, you can meet up with one of many experienced charter boat captains and launch right from the sand. Within 15 minutes, you'll have your line in the water to try to hook Big Red Snapper, King Mackerel, Grouper, Mahi Mahi, and maybe even a shark. Hi, I'm Corey Pickus from the Pickus Water Ski and Wakeboard School in Santa Rosa Beach. We have three man-made freshwater lakes where we do all types of water sports, wakeboarding, water skiing, wake skating, and we do all levels, families from the very first time beginner to intermediate and expert levels. So give us a call or check us out on our website. People also love boating and fishing in the Choctahatchee Bay. From the vantage point of a stand-up paddleboard, you can catch sight of dolphins, fish, and other marine life busy just beneath the water's surface. Hook a redfish or take your cast net out to come home with a pile of mullet for a delicious fish fry, a Northwest Florida tradition. The coastal dune lakes are a real treasure. Unique to only a few places in the world, these freshwater lakes open up into the gulf a few times a year. Unless it's a windy day, the surface stays glassy, which is perfect for a paddleboard adventure. All right, how are you? Good. We're here with Tom Losey at the beautiful Boathouse at Watercolor Resort. So, Tom, tell us about some of the awesome activities you can do out here on Western Lake. Well, paddleboarding is our specialty, and uh, stand-up paddleboarding started here many years ago, and uh, yeah. we do a lot of that, and love to have you out on a board today. I'd love to do it. All right, well, let's get you a paddle. All right, that's sized appropriately, which is just about where it meets your hand and wrist. Good. And uh, we're good to go. Awesome. We're good to go. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, Brooke. How are you? Hey, Drew. Hello. Nice to see you. You too. Yeah. yeah, Drew's in charge of all our fitness and programming now. So she's uh, we've got a lot more than just stand up paddling. Yeah. And we have fitness classes and run sup and TRX and uh, a lot of stuff to keep you in shape. Awesome. Let's so, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Hands a little about shoulder width apart. Here we go. I'm going to put the board in the water. We always launch on our knees at the dock because we don't want any accidents. I don't want you falling and hitting your head. Yeah. So what, what you're going to do is have a seat on the edge of the dock. Give yourself some forward momentum. That makes it even easier to stand. Head towards the bridge. All right. And then once you stand, just keep your eye on the horizon, and that's the best place to balance. There you go. Grab that paddle. Awesome. There you go. Now you're off. Easy enough. All right, easy. All right. I'll give you your paddle okay. and yeah, we'll pull this up on the dock, ready for the next customer. Even in the bustle of tourist season, and as the area continues to grow more popular, our waterways offer a chance to get away and enjoy the natural beauty of 30A. 